In the wild slums of the city in 1863, there is only one law, the law of force. Gangs are in a constant state of ruthless war. But in this video, we won't be talking about people and their cruelty towards each other. Instead, we'll be discussing several dangerous gangs in the animal world that terrify everyone who has ever encountered them. If they try to attack an otter, this is what will happen. Yes, your eyes aren't deceiving you. A family of giant otters attacking a crocodile. It's not just a family, it's a gang, an otter mafia. These otters come from Brazil and share the South American continent with three other local representatives of the genus Lontra, the neotropical river otter, southern river otter, sea otter. A giant otter can reach 1.7 meters in length and weigh about 30 kilograms. Add a muscular tail, strength, endurance, acute hearing, sharp eyesight, and a great sense of smell. A giant otter is a very social animal that lives in large family groups. The size of the group can reach up to 20 individuals. Giant otters are also aggressive and protect their territory at any cost. This species can hunt alone, in pairs or in groups, and their menu includes absolutely everything there is in a certain area. Fish as a main course, crabs as an easy snack, small snakes as a light snack, and a conda. Give me two, please. Crocodiles, better stay away from these giant otters. These predators are fast and unusually flexible. Their teamwork is spectacular. They attack from different sides and their powerful jaws leave no chance for prey. In addition, they immediately eat what they caught and start with the head. There's no chance to get out of this fight alive. These are not the charming otters that hold each other's paws so that they aren't carried away by the current. Only rage and hardcore. And while charming otters pose for photographs for tourist Instagrams collecting likes and size, other otters attack monkeys. No, seriously. They are really capable of this. In a video made a few years ago, you can see a group of otters drowning a monkey in the Bronx Zoo in New York, literally drowning it in water there. Otters are strangling and drowning the panicking monkey while other individuals unsuccessfully try to help. It's not clear why the otters behave this way or how the monkey got into the water, but for the primate it didn't end well. Perhaps there was an accidental fall and the otters considered it aggression, or maybe they just wanted to. Maybe otters are like water relatives of honey badgers that attack other animals for no particular reason. It's not by chance that I remembered honey badgers. They're the same kind of psychos without any sense of self-preservation. Actually, a poor jaguar just went down to the river to get a drink of water and obviously didn't expect a disgruntled otter to come up and start snorting and grunting. And yeah, they just chased the jaguar away. And here's another interesting fact. In the language of locals, a giant otter is also called a water jaguar. So these species are worthy opponents. They're so worthy that there's only one known case where a jaguar managed to kill a giant otter. And that's because it was alone and was on the shore and didn't expect an attack. Nobody would overcome the whole gang. Giant otters can live as large families or only with four individuals in a group. In any case, in each of these groups, there's the main one. See this otter. This is an alpha female and she's the coolest. She's the one who makes decisions about attack or defense, takes care of the offspring and the whole group. And this is the male. He marks a certain area and patrols it with the others. Each of these gangs, I mean families, has its own territory which they protect. If a stranger enters their territory, they will obviously have big problems. Otters act in a similar way. And by the way, what about the crocodile from the beginning of the video? Well, it came into the wrong neighborhood. I mean, it swam into the wrong territory and it was killed. It's difficult to cope with a whole gang of rapacious, aggressive bandits, even if you're a crocodile. The otters have much more energy, so they just exhaust the crocodile quite quickly. Usually this happens, and then the otters actually eat their prey alive, getting to the inside with sharp teeth. Geese! 
You get it. Giant otters like to mess with crocodiles. But don't think that otters attack only large predators and poor dying monkeys. If you're human, you should also stay away. And even more so, don't try to take the log, which an otter considers its own, even if it's small and alone. Seriously! After today's video, I'm going to avoid these animals if I can, of course. Because you don't have to get close to any vital log to provoke an attack. You just need... I don't know. I to take a picture of the wrong otter at the wrong time and that's it. Run for your life. Usually, the phrase I survived an otter attack seemed ridiculous. But after everything I learned today, this girl is really lucky. First, an otter that came to one of the houses in Florida attacked a French bulldog named Scooter and then its owner, 17-year-old Gwen. She received a strong bite, a few scratches, and was seriously frightened. Fortunately, her mother came to rescue her, and everything ended well. A few drops of blood and no rabies. 